Egg checking time? Egg checking time. Daily egg check. That's right. Here's Charlotte, our oh albino. Oh my gosh. Oh my. You are huge. Jeez, she's massive. Hi, Charlotte. Hello. Are you going to lay your eggs? You are ginormous, aren't you? Wow. You can just feel the thickness she, in her belly there. She much prefers the term thick instead of ginormous. <laughs> uh, does she? Yes. Big bones? Big bones. Uh oh. Oh, loud. She coming. She coming. She's okay, now let's just put her back in there. You lay those eggs. Uh, How about... Who's, who's next? Well, while we're looking at albinos, here's Jafina too. Another albino hog. And... Oh, oh I see a white thing. Oh, oh there's that's eggs. Her. Never mind. But, but oh, there's, there's eggs. eggs yeah, look. Oh my gosh. Jafina. Jafina too, I should say. You laid your eggs. Did you get them all out? Yeah, with hog noses, it's nice. pretty pretty obvious when there is an egg still stuck behind. You can actually see it One, in two, them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Eleven. I don't know. Dang, that's a big clutch. Yeah. Wow. All right. We have albino hog nose eggs. Oh, girl, you are. I mean, ever since the day you hatched, you have been such a. Stunning albino hog nose. She's got like yellows in her splotches yeah, she's, here. It's like outlined. Yeah, yeah, like an orange outline and yeah. yellow interior. She is so, so pretty. And she grew quick. She did, yeah. yeah. She's a 2020 baby, yeah. Yeah, so she's only three years old. She did grow really fast. The rest of her siblings are taking a little bit more time, but we figured since she was big enough, we brumated her. She's a good eater. She's a great eater, and we paired her, and it looks like it took. Yes. We have, I mean, these look like all fertile eggs. And who's dad? Dad is bruh. Uh, where is uh, he? Okay, here's bruh. He here's is dad. a conda phase. So with this pairing, typically when you pair up an albino and a conda, that isn't like head albino or anything, uh, all the babies will have brown coloration or normal colors, but about 50% of them will have this reduced pattern, which is called the conda gene. She is not conda. She has your typical pattern. He has your typical color. So they're yep. going to be typical colored, but with a reduced yep. pattern. However, this girl has something we're trying to test out. She has a story we can't share yet. Um, I mean, you saw her hatch with us, so I mean, yep. you kind of know her story, but there's more to it than what you guys all know. And we kind of hinted towards this during our brooding plans video. And we actually had a couple emails or Patreon messages from people who had a guess as to what it was. And nobody has guessed it yet, yeah, but well. we are going to prove something hopefully this year with these eggs we're going to learn something that might be really important i'm guessing it's just going to be disappointing but it might uh, be just whatever. disappointing but there is a chance that something very important well regardless if you yeah, think about true. it true whatever happens it is important yeah but it might be more exciting than not i don't know we'll see yeah we can't share the details right now guys yeah. i'm sorry uh but we're gonna set her back in there feel free to send us your hypothesis We'll slide uh, her back in here. On what we are referring to. But in the meantime, let's put these eggs in incubation. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for these eggs. This has been a project now four years in the making. Yeah. Because her mom. Well, I think we had her, the mom, for two years. We did so have the mom for two. Five years yeah. in the and making. And then we got Jafina too out of her. And now with this clutch, we'll finally know the answer to something. All right, let's put them all very gingerly in this beautifully prepared perlite container. Wow, someone really cool must have put the perlite in there. It was Are you Ed. you talking about yourself? It was Ed, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to say something like, aw, thanks. I think I... it was just funny to just let you go. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, honey. I am pretty cool. Or it's cool that you think I'm cool. All right, we'll get all these in here. <laughs> wow, and even 10 eggs, 11 Ten with eggs the slug. with the slug. We are not getting many slugs. Well, actually, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Thank you, by the Yeah, way. no problem. I don't wanna jinx it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I don't know where that went. Um, it Sam will find away. it. Yeah, maybe <laughs> the next party that's gonna book this cla this room well, is gonna be like, what is here. this? Yeah, they're just gonna <laughs> find it on the floor. Okay. So for this clutch, like they're little eggs, so it's tough to draw much on them, but we could do like keyboard symbols. Yeah, like at and dot yeah, and yeah. Uh, exclamation point. Yeah, I'll start with exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> and... Punctuation symbols. Oh, question mark. <laughs> yeah. You oh, should shit. do the, the upside down question mark. That's from Spanish. Oh, does that go? Just an upside down question mark. There you go. This way? Okay, yep. perfect. <laughs> could do, like you said, the at sign. Yeah. How do I draw an ampersand upside down? Let's see, it goes like. Oh, good luck with that. Usually Emily has a guide. Is that it? I did I do that right? So. Yeah, I think I did that right. right. Okay, cool. I just do a plus whenever I do like, I do like the. <laughs> How about? Do 
A period. Perfect. That's there you a go. period clutch. Yep. What was the one? Oh, you could do a pound sign. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> a colon. A colon. <laughs> you do a semicolon. Oh my god. Wow. wow look, oh, at look at that skill. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mic drop. What were you saying I should do? <laughs> Hashtag or pound sign. Oh yeah. I think I dated myself when I said pound sign. All the t uh, TikTok people will love that one. Yeah. How about uh uh slash. Is that now, is that a forward slash or a backslash? I, I think that's a forward slash, isn't it? Yes. Yay, that's I got it. it! You don't want to know how, you know? They fall forward yep, or exactly. fall backwards. Yep. You taught me that. I did, and Kiss. somebody in IT taught me that. So. Really? Yep. Oh, now all of our fans know. That's exactly. how to tell forward slash if the from... the line is falling forward, it's a forward slash. There you go, kids. That was your educational bit from today's <laughs> video. <laughs> Nothing about snakes today. <laughs> nope. Go tell your parents if you learned that. <laughs> that actually would be so funny. If you are watching this, you should tell your parents that you learned the difference between forward slash and backslash on Snake Discovery. Exactly. And let us know what they say, because now I am invested in this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is from... Jefina, there we go. Jefina 2 and bruh on 5, 16. I'm gonna Bray. add an exclamation point right here, a double one, because that's how I'm excited, how excited I am for this clutch Your there. Four Exclamation points excited. Yes, I sure am. Okay, well this is part one of this video. Now we just have to wait. Let's do another hognose clutch because we have a few on the verge of laying. Yep. So next hognose to lay eggs will be part two of this video. Breaking news, we have our next hognose clutch and it was not Charlotte. Charlotte is still fat as can be. No babies there yet, but the one who beat her to laying is... Mitosis! Oh, you're still laying. Oh, sorry. See how wide she is behind her tail? Okay, you are still laying. I will leave you alone. But yeah, Mitosis, who is Omnomelet's daughter, is laying eggs. Okay, next day. I'm hoping she's done. She should be done. She's had about 24 hours now. Mitosis? She must still be in there. Are you still in here? Oh, no? I see an egg. Yeah, there is an egg in there. Okay. Ooh, there's a couple eggs. There's no mitosis, oh, there's though. One. Wow, those are huge oh, eggs. Oh my gosh, those are huge Poor eggs. Poor Mitosis. Wow, where are you, girl? Are you... No, not in there. Are you under here? Are you buried? Oh, there she is. Oh, there she, okay. Mitosis. Hi, pretty girl. Oh, she totally got them all out. Oh, she did. You are so Good much Good job, tighter. mama. Oh, well, this is gosh. new mama, right? Yeah, first time breeding. Oh, I'll take this. Okay, we'll let her relax. Yeah. In there. Who is she paired to? Oh, well, she was accidentally paired with Jester, since he's uh -huh. a program animal and she is too. He was accidentally put back. He, he got, he to, got to have relations this year. Good job, Jester. Maybe, since he was paired overnight accidentally and then split up once we would noticed, we decided to pair her with Bruh, the oh, conda. Okay. So if any of the babies are conda, we know Bruh's we the go. dad. Yep. If none of them are conda, then Jester is- Good job, Jester. Well, he had an opportunity. You know, yeah. if we gave him the opportunity, he didn't take it, then- That's on Jester. Yes. So the joke is with Jester, guys, in case you don't know what we're talking about, Jester is like a spare male that we have. He's it's just head albino. Yeah, so he's really nice though. So he is our program hognose snake. So we've always joked, you know what, you're a backup, you don't need yeah. to breed at all. But he accidentally- but Every it. year he gets neglected during the breeding season. Yep, so. he doesn't get a girlfriend. But, but this, this year, year he did. He did. <laughs> all right, eggs, first eggs from mitosis. So I know we've been doing a lot of egg videos because the camera's full of perlite dust. Oh, is it really? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yep, that's like, uh, it's... Look at the screen. Oh my gosh, the whole screen is and, covered and, in a, and a the layer. Back of it, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, well that's egg season for you. Yeah. <laughs> so mitosis is very exciting because she is one of Omnomlet's daughters. So Omnomlet oh. will now have grandchildren Aww. here. Aw. Yeah. Her grandchildren are in this box. Oh, in egg form. Oh wow. my gosh. That's a lot of eggs. Oh, there's so many. You told me there wasn't that many in here. I didn't think there were. These are huge eggs too, you're that right. Poor girl. Wow, mitosis was big. I didn't think she had this in her though. Let's see, we got a slug there. Yep, one slug. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine eggs? Yep, nine. Okay. Wow. For her, the size of the eggs, that is impressive coming yeah, from all, mitosis. That little girl, too. Wow. All right. Well, we're going to set him in here. Actually, that's right. I'm going to try not to cover them so much with perlite. Oh, because the... we don't want them to get 
too wet. Weird. Yeah, yeah. It seems there. like the hog noses do a little bit better with slightly Windows. drier environments for incubation. Oh, here's kind of a weird looking one. Yeah, that one might not make it. Uh, I'm gonna put that one over here, <laughs> just in case. Oh, she glued these together. Wow, this is the second time this year hog noses have glued them together. Yeah, that's so weird. Well, I'm gonna separate them. Sorry, eggs. Okay, and... Uh, Okay, put you here. And the last egg can go right over here. And then we take this and we throw it. Thanks. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> the slugs just get thrown everywhere <laughs> into the garbage. Nice. All right. Did what... we ever pick up the other slug that we threw in here I the other day? I picked up that one, okay. yes. <laughs> All right, what theme should we do for these eggs? We're running out of ideas for themes. Yeah. What if. They're from a hog nose snake. Uh, so what if we did pork products? Pork products? <laughs> yes. Are there that many pork products? I think we can come up with them, yeah. So right. for example. I wanna see you draw pork products. Tasty bacon. Oh, that's bacon, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't have a guide for this one. <laughs> How about? Sausage. Sausage is a pork product. Sausage. <laughs> um, we uh, got... Ribs? Yeah, ribs. Okay, ribs. We got pork butt. What does that look like? Shredded pork. You just do a pork sandwich. Yeah, there you go. Okay, pork sandwich. Got, uh, pork chops. What does a pork chop look like? It's like a round piece of meat with a fat cap on the side of it. Like that? Yeah, and then just put like a fat cap on one side. What's a fat cap? Like just a layer of fat. Yeah, like, like that. that. Okay, yeah, pork chop. Like pork chop. <laughs> um, let's see. There's pork belly. What does that look like? It's a big flat piece of pork. Like that. <laughs> yeah, sure. Add a nipple or two, because there's usually about two nipples on them. There okay. You know. yep. pork, pork belly. belly. Fun fact, Ed used to work at a <laughs> uh, a meat house. How would you uh, describe meat that? Meat market. Meat market. Butcher. Yeah. I mean, for dog treats. The pork feet? The ear. Oh, the ear. Yeah, they you sell... You can do pork feet. They sell pickled pork feet. Do they? Yeah. Okay. Pork feet. And then... Oh, you can do a, the pork loin. What's that, that look like? That looks like a sausage, though. <laughs> Yeah. There, there pork, loin. pork loin. Perfect. Okay, our pork theme. I like that one. <laughs> that one was really easy. I like that one too. That could be so many different things. Who's Drago? Uh, I think a bearded dragon named Drago was surrendered to us in a container using at least this lid. Oh. So that's not supposed to be there. It has since, of course, been disinfected. And now we're just using it for eggs. Alright. Alright. Mitosis and... <laughs> Jester slash bruh. Time for another Mori episode when these yep, hatch. Yep. Five, eighteen. Sweet. Perfect. Oh no, we don't have room in the incubator. Oh, we don't. I have bull snake eggs sitting on top of a rack right now oh. because our AC isn't use it, working in there. So it's a great temperature for incubation, but that's getting fixed today. Maybe I'll have to turn on the bigger one next oh, to no. it. Okay. Just to get it, just to get temps, and we'll have to finish this video tomorrow after it's been on for a little bit. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna put these up here. Next to some other eggs, we had some rat snake eggs that were just laid. So these are, look, there's condensation, so it's nice and warm. It's actually perfect oh, incubation. It was the Jesus clutch. And before that, it was our ball python eggs. Oh, so yeah. yeah, this container has been used for a lot of eggs. There right now, our air conditioning doesn't work. So up there is like a perfect temperature it to is. incubate eggs. That's going to get fixed today, though. So, well, maybe. Maybe it'll get fixed. Yeah. If it does, the, they'll get moved into the other incubator. Yeah. But right now, I have to go turn on that incubator. All right, plugging this guy in. Let's see here, let's then throw this thermometer in here. That's the one we've been using as an external thermometer there. And let's set this to 82. And we'll let this sit for tonight. All right, it's been running for a day. Yes. And I can't show you because I have to go with my phone, but it's Which sitting at 82. Yeah, and it's yeah. been maintaining the temperature. And I moved it from there down to there, and it's still around, it's like 0.3 degrees off, so. Okay, so probably throughout the top to the bottom, maybe one degree, one maybe. and a half yeah. degrees difference? Okay, yeah. so what we can start, start doing then is putting the more tropical species eggs near the top, yep. where they need slightly warmer temperatures anyway, and then the North, North American species uh, near the bottom. Yeah, but I, think I mean, work. even up here, North American can be fine. Yeah, I think they Because that's up to, like, I think 84 is max for that. Okay. So. Sweet. It should be good. You want right. to move everything over? Yeah, let's move them. The first eggs. First eggs in that. In the giant oil banks incubator. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's the rat snakes and mitosis. Yep, okay. yep. 
two clutches. Should we move them all over? I assume we should turn that one off since this one's on. Yeah, we don't need two incubators running. No. Okay, here's Hognose eggs. Oh, this has enough that you can stack them. Oh, nice. Look at that. A couple of omnomelets eggs are looking... Oh, well, no, just not one. Not bad, just that one. Okay, just one that I have to take out. All right, I will do that later. Here's Jeffina 2's eggs. Yeah, they look good. Uh, looks like one of Azura's eggs went bad, so I'm going to take that one out. Okay. Milk snake eggs look pretty good. A yeah. couple deflated ones. Those can go up top. Yep. Another. Pixie and Buck. Yep, more rat snake eggs. Dottie Barnaby, bull snake eggs. Those, oh, those look, look great. Yeah, they do. Ah, uh, here comes Brad's clutch. Brad's clutch, which some is... Some of them went bad. Yeah, not the, not the best clutch, but some are looking okay. They're also teeny, so... Yeah. Priscilla, Mr. No, Wilson. that looks great. Oh, these look good. Circus and Monroe. Yeah. Oh. Kate's one egg. Kate's one egg and the one oh, indigo that's right. egg. right, yep. Which I don't have high hopes for either one, but no. they're not convincing me that they're dead yet. Yeah. So, here we go. Uh, the MBK. Yeah, those look good. Yeah. Oh, should those go up higher? Sure. Probably. They're a Still Mexican there. species. Yep. Shakira. Oh, and those look great. Orange creamsicle. Yeah, those look great. And the Madagascar giant hog eggs, which oh, also look yeah, surprisingly look good. Great. Sweet. Uh, those should go up higher too. Sure. There we go. So now I just have to clean those eggs out and. Uh oh. It's a pretty solid click. Oh. Just push it. There you oh, go. Oh, nice. Oh, I like that. Yeah, here. I'm going to shut this off too. Oh, okay. we've upgraded. Yep. Now look at how much room we have. Wow, we can have so many more clutches. Yeah. I'm so excited for this clutch because not only is this Mitosis's first clutch of eggs, it's Omnomlet's first grandkids. Aw, uh, and she gave us eggs this year too. She did. So they're, they'll be uncles of this one, but the same age. So oh. she has siblings and kids in the incubator. Yes, is that's what that weird. means. That is kind of weird. <laughs> oh no, you're gonna be a grandma. Look, here's your daughter. She's gonna be a mom too, with the same boy as your husband. I want. We that's should keep too. one of her babies. Okay. And see if we can get three generations. <gasps> oh my gosh, that'd be so cool. <laughs> oh, have one of those like four generation photos. Yeah. With three generation photos. Three generation photos we with can like. Three generations and this they're year. still breeding. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, we need to do that. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's double clutch special. Uh, double clutch of hog noses at that. So lots of hog nose eggs today. Very exciting. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your incredible support as always. And baby season is almost upon Babies. us. Babies.